Hey, what's guys? What's up, guys? I just got back from class, and I'm gonna commentate over this stuff. I did have live commentary over it, and this video was about 20 minutes long. But um, when I got back, I, I was uploading it while I was at class, and now that I'm back, it told me that it was too long and I can't do it. So apparently, I'll have to not live commentate over it. So, anyways, uh, my name is Rye, and I've started making a road. Um, like Maxcape from scratch account. I don't really plan on getting Maxcape at all because I don't even have it on my main. I am, you know, like halfway there on my main pretty much. I've got like pretty much all 90 stats. However, um, on here I plan on just kind of, I, I do want to, I just want to try to get a whip. Like honestly, I just want to get a whip from scratch. I think that'd be pretty sweet and still a very like, you know, high, 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 uh, very, very hard to get, but still, still a hard challenge. So anyways, I made a list of stuff that I do want to do on this account. And one of these things is, I want to, like, just starting out anyways, I finished the a couple of quests, and now I have, I think, like, 40 attack, or 37 attack just from quests. And I'm planning on doing, like, a bunch of quests at the beginning rather than later, because I have another account called QuestBud that you can check out, like, um, on this channel. I haven't really uploaded anything, and I probably won't very soon, but I pretty much just started that account by just leveling skills, and I ended up getting like pretty high stats for you know just quests anyways like not they're still not high there but they're all like in the 40s and 50s and for just doing quests and I've only spent like a, like 24 hours on the counter so now I did have to buy a lot of the stuff on the grand exchange such as blue dye and orange dye so that's gonna be um, way harder on here to make and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that yet I mean I can just make it with like I think like an onion or something but I think there's shops that I can actually buy it from and I know like purple dye spawns in Ardone so we'll see but I plan on just, you know, doing quests a lot to level up, but eventually I do want to make about 5,000 iron knives and get up to 70 or 80 range. 5,000 is definitely not going to be enough, so I'll probably end up making like maybe 15,000 or 20,000. And mm -hmm. so that should be a big, uh, quite a long time to, to, to do. Um, I think that's like, for 20,000 knives, that's like, I think it's like 5k iron or something. But I did, one of the quests that I did to get my attack up was Tree Gnome Stronghold, or the Grand Tree. And so now that I've finished that, I have access to their mines down in the, the basement. And they're actually pretty good mines. And what I'll probably do is I think ne my next goal will be to get 75 room crafting for both etch essence patches for all the big patches because since I'll need 75 eventually, that'll just help me with all my runes to get all, all I think, four pouches there are. And so once I get have all those four pouches, it might even be 80. If it's 80, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get 50 and then I can make natures. But I'll uh, get enough runes to get to... Superheat, and then I'll, I can just superheat stuff instead of banking like all the coal, you know, and then all the iron. I can just do it while I'm there, and it'll save inventory space and hopefully a lot of time. And also, it will hopefully get me a high enough magic where I can high alk my items for uh, money for construction and stuff. And so that's my plan. And with construction comes the gilded altar, and so then I will be able to use all my bones that I'll get um, while I'm training crafting from dragons. So that's just where I'm at, kind of in my mindset. And then eventually, I can get the whip. Now, until then, I will be using the Leaf Blade Sword, pretty much like everybody else. Um, I'll, I'll need 55 Slayers, but that shouldn't take too long, because another thing I want to do is make um, around 10k Cannibals. Now, that's going to take a very long time as well, so I'm not really sure how motivated I will be to do that. But I figure it'll save me a lot of time trading Slayer, so it might be worth it. Especially since you can't get Cannibals any other way that I know of. And once I do that, um, then I can get the Leaf Blade Sword, and then after that though, I plan on getting the Brackish Blade or a Rapier because the Brackish Blade is really good. I think it has like the same speed as like a Dragon Long, and it's the one the best non like quest item or something. Like the Crossy, I think is probably better. However, that's going to take way more quests and uh, therefore requirements and stuff like that. Now the Brackish Blade is also has high requirements, so I have to actually compare the two. But um, if not, I can always get the Rapier, and I don't think that would take me that long. It'd probably take me about two weeks because I actually have pretty high Dungeoneering. On my, on my main. Now, I don't really know how long it would take doing it all solo, but I know I have one friend who did it all, and he, like when Dungeon Air first came out, and he didn't bother anything, and he got to 80. And it wasn't fast or anything, it took him like a month, but I think I could probably get it in like two or three weeks. So, we'll see about that. Um, I want to get a fire cape as soon as I can, also. I think I could probably do that with a 70 or 75 range and 43 prayer. I'll probably get a little bit higher prayer. I'll probably need like 50 or so. But um, I could probably do that. Um, with prayer, have to get that up, and I'll be killing hill giants. I also want to get like 200 plus of all like rings of dueling, um, games necklaces, rings of forging, 
and rings of recoil because those will help in the long run, especially for quests and rings of recoil. As you see in my bank right now, I already had a um, pumpkin, and since this uh, video, I actually oh, and right here, I t almost died coming. It was way better in the live commentary, and then I saw the wolf, and I thought I was gonna die again. But anyways, as you saw, I have five um, skulls and uh, uh, candy skulls, and those actually heal like 200, so those are going to be pretty useful. And I also got 15 more since then, because I've been getting a lot of spins since I've been completing quests and doing my daily challenges. Um, besides that, I got 25 agility, so I can do those quests, and stuff like that. And the video you're watching right now is just me running all the way to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. And I remember back in the day when I did it on my first account in like 2007, and you couldn't just go to the gang exchange and buy everything, it was way harder to get to places like this, and like I would just not go. I didn't do. I don't think I did Trinum Village or Trinum Stronghold until I was like, probably, level ninety or something. Just because it was, it took forever to get there. You know, you had to run all the way there, and then you had to run all the way back to like, you know, do all the stuff. So I, I remember I did do that for a while. But now that I can buy, or now that now that I, I'm doing it again without using the Grand Exchange, because like on Quest Bud, it was really easy. You know, I just bought like a thousand. Uh, Super energy or energy potions, and that you know made everything faster. I would just buy teletabs and stuff like that. But now I'm definitely realizing how how easy it's gotten um, for anything. And also another thing I want to do is I want to get high, high enough crafting to make um, royal dragon hide. I, I don't know how high that is, but I can't imagine it's above like 85. And 85 isn't honestly isn't like that hard to get. Um, de definitely getting to 70 will be hard. And after that, it'll be even harder. But I think overall, I'll need a lot of coins for alking, or not for alking, but I'll get a lot of coins from alking, and then I can use that to tan dehyde bodies and all that stuff. But eventually, I do just want to get a whip, and uh, maybe maybe a fighter torso. Um, probably a fighter torso because honestly, a room play body is going to be pretty hard to buy. And also, I will be using quest guides. That's one of the other rules that I'll kind of be breaking from. It's not is it optional or whatever, so. I'll definitely be doing that because it, I just don't have the time to run back and forth a hundred times. If I, you know, if this was like something I, going all the way, I would probably do it. Maybe, I don't know. But this thing is going to take so long anyways that I'm not even going to bother, like, you know, making it even harder than it already is. And even ever since the beginning, there has been quest guides. So that's kind of how I see it. Um, anyways, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, I'm going to pull up right now the uh, the picture of me doing my spins and I, I got a mithril pickaxe which should be very helpful and so I just wanted to prove that before and it's unfortunate that I didn't have like, I think it was uh, 40 attack because then I could have gotten a rune pickaxe I think I believe or something anyways yeah so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and please subscribe and like and do all that awesome stuff thanks